how she sculpted everyone from the Queen to Dame Edna Everidge. Now Frances Segelman has just finished her latest commission in front of a live audience. Her subject was actor Sir Derek Jacobi. Our entertainment correspondent Brenda Manus has been to meet the artist and the sitter. A lump of clay is being transformed into the distinctive face of actor Sir Derek Jacobi by artist Francis Segelman. Twice a year the London sculptor creates work live in front of an audience to raise money for charity. This time the Islington Arts Factory. As experiences go, this must be a rather <laughs> unique one even for you. Totally unique, yes. I've never I've never been sculpted before and I've never been Certainly ever been sculpted in front of 200 people. I don't like having my photograph taken, strange for an actor, but this kind of is different. I kind of, because it's an interpretation of, of my face, not, not um, a photographic portrayal of it. For two hours, the stage and screen star posed patiently while the audience watched and Frances produced her interpretation of her sitter. The lovely thing, which I didn't realize at the beginning is that Eventually, when it's waxed and it's thrown and it's bronzed, I said, I get to take it home. Uh, so yes, I mean, it'll be on some mantelpiece somewhere. <laughs> yes. Almost as good as winning a BAFTA or an Oscar. Oh, better. <laughs> Much better. From the London Film Museum to her home near Tower Bridge, where Frances works on yet another famous face, entertainer Bradley Walsh. I'm self-taught and I learnt through the books and all the anatomy books and everything, going to the V&A and sitting there and studying all the muscles and every single detail I could find in these, in these wonderful galleries, you know, I studied them. The house is littered with examples of her creations, from steel furniture to busts of the famous, Dame Edna Everidge, Nigel Kennedy, Linford Christie, the Duke of Edinburgh and Her Majesty the Queen. She's just the most amazing lady. actually. Absolutely adored her after the third sitting. I felt so close to her, although she's very, very, she keeps the distance, but she chatted all the way through the sitting. From self taught artist to friend of the stars, the next to be putty in her hands is Mayor Boris Johnson. Brendry Manus, BBC London News. That should be interesting. Okay.